Yeah. Our last edit we have to make to this before we can start doing some testing and some more cool stuff with it is with our handle knobs and and handle rod. If we're make to make this in real life right now, there's no way for this handle knob to stay on this rod. It would just fall right off. So to fix that, we're going to do two things. We're going to, if I were to open up my finished version, we are going to make a little groove in our handle knob, or, sorry, handle rod in there. And then we're going to make a, in our handle knob, we're going to make a hole that we then can put a set screw in, just like we did down on our jaw down here to hold these keys in. All right, so let's start with making the groove in the handle rod. So I'm going to just double click on that to edit it. And I'm going to edit our original extrude, actually. I'm going to make a revolution on this then um, so that we can spin around that cutout. So I'm going to expand my origin, find a plane that cuts through it, so our, our YZ does, and start a sketch on it. I'm going to slice my graphics so I can see through it. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to project a few lines. So I'm going to project this edge along the top. And then for my handle knob, I'm going to project this outermost edge here. And we're going to do that to just dimension two later. I'm then going to just draw a rectangle along this top and then dimension it to be 0.1 inches wide. And let's do a depth of 0.0. .0 five inches. Then I just need to place where the rectangle is, so I'm going to go from my outermost edge of my knob to my, um, my line and put in 0.375. And then I want to revolve that. Um, so to do that, I'm going to draw a line down my middle. And we need this on both sides, so I'm going to quickly then draw one on the same side as well. I can type the dimensions in as we go. And then just project that edge on the other side, dimension it as 0.375. All right, let's go ahead and revolve it. So I'm going to go and select those two boxes I just drew, select my that line I drew down the middle, and then cut it away. Click OK. And now we have two little cutouts there. So let's go ahead and return and edit our handle knob now. So I'm going to double click on that to edit. And we need to make a point on the outside of it so we can drill a hole in. So I'm going to expand my origin and find a plane that cuts through the middle. So my X, y, Z plane cuts through the middle there. I don't want in the middle, I want on the outside. So I'm going to go up here to, and click on plane. And while this is still selected, my X, Z plane is still selected, I can sec make a, another plane tangent to that one. So if I click there, you can see I now have a tangent plane to that circle. It just barely kind of grazes it. So let's create a sketch on that plane. I'm just going to put a point somewhere in my middle, make it a horizontal constraint to that origin, and dimension it. And I'm going to do 0.385 this time so that it's a little bit into the hole. Um, if we did 0.375, it would just be on the edge there. So we can finish our sketch, click on the hole tool, and I want to make this a threaded hole, um, and I want to make it a number two hole or thread. We want the thread to be the full depth, and the distance um, can be 0.375. That would cut halfway through, which is exactly kind of what we want, a little bit more than halfway. So click OK, and we have our threaded hole. And because we did it on this one, it's automatically going to put it on this one as well. All right, let's make that work plane no longer visible. So I'm going to right-click on the edge of it, uncheck visibility, 
And when I click return, it didn't update it for this one. That's weird. Um, so I'm going to just double click on this one real fast and get rid of that work, that work plane as well by unchecking the visibility, clicking return. All right, now we need to put set screws in. So I'm going to go to the, my drop down for place, place from content center. Let it load. And remember, set screws are under bolts, so fasteners, bolts, set screws. I'm going to use the same type of set screws, so I'm going to scroll down and scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. Scroll down, and scroll down, and scroll down until I get to a type A hexagonal set screw cut point inch. Let's click OK. Now, one of the problems though is this hole is on a circular uh, surface, so I can't actually select it. So I'm just going to click anywhere around it. Doesn't really matter where. And when I do that, because I didn't reference it to a hole. I'll get a window that pops up asking me what size I want. I only want a number two thread, and the length is perfectly fine. So click OK. I can just place it anywhere, and we have placed two of them, one by each one, so I can then go ahead and manually constrain them in. Now I'm good with this. I'm going to right click, click OK, and let's go ahead and constrain these. I'm going to click on the constraint tool and select the axis of our set screw and the axis of our hole. I'm going to do that to both of them. Now, the problem with only doing that, though, is I can still pull this out as that, as such. So we need to make it so the top of the set screw goes to the top of this rounded surface. And Inventor has a tool to do that. I can go to Constraint. And instead of doing a Make Constraint, or an insert that we've learned so far, I can do a tangent constraint here. This set screw is going to be inside my handle knob, so I want the inside solution. And I can just select the outside top surface of my set screw, the outside surface of my handle knob, and it will make those tangent to each other. So I click Apply, go to my next one. Same thing. And there we go. So that part is done now. All right, so let's go ahead and check our mass. We have a mass of 17.874 pounds now. Went down a little bit because we cut some stuff away. And we can go ahead and click Save. Click OK. And we are done all the parts now. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to learn about stress analysis. Um, presentations, making it look pretty essentially, and putting it all together in kind of a packet um, that can be used for actually manufacturing this vice. Thanks.